Hello everyone and welcome to the second lesson on stop motion animation. Now last time we left off learning about the history of stop motion animation and what kind of goes into it on a basic level. Now today I want to start with actually preparing your story for what you're going to be animating. So in the brainstorming phase, I asked you guys to think about what sort of items or characters you wanted to animate. Now, for me, for what I'm going to be doing, I'm using these two little action figures of Batman and the Joker as my main characters. I'm going to have some more things basically just kind of as background. Those are going to be mostly Funko Pops. They're more going to be set pieces than anything else. They're not going to have any sort of active engagement. There might be little movements here and there, but that's it. Now, for our animations, one thing that we need to consider is how long is this animation going to be? In total, each of our animations will be 30 seconds long. However, you are only going to be taking photos for 15 seconds of that animation. Because what we are going to do is for every photo you take, there's going to be a duplicate of that photo so that each photo lasts twice as long. This is a very common practice. So you guys will be taking photos or having an animation that starts out as 12 frames per second for 15 seconds but then it'll equal out to 24 frames per second or something along those lines. Um, so the first thing we need to do is kind of figure out the timing of our animation. So to do that, we want to start with a storyboard. So I'm going to move Batman and Joker up here. I'll leave them in frame. And to start our animation, we'll, we're going to kind of figure out these things. Now, some of you might have done this in the past, but for those that storyboarding is new to, you first want to start off with something like, first blank happens. And then you'll go to then blank happens. And then you might go to another then blank happens. And then you can finish up with finally blank happens. Now with such a short animation time, ours might not be quite as many beats or as many scenes. I mean, it's really gonna be one scene, but there won't be quite as much stuff happening. So the way I'm going to do this is in my scene, I've got it planned out that first the Joker tells a bad joke with the audience tied up. Then Batman busts in and fights the Joker. And I like to write all this stuff out so I know exactly what's happening. And then I'm going to have finally Batman drags the Joker away. Now you'll notice that I started this off with first the Joker tells a bad joke. What that's going to mean for me is I'm going to have voiceover. Now your animations do not have to have voiceover, but if you want to add a little flair, you can. That can easily be done by just recording your lines in an app on your phone and then when you go to turn 
stuff in, you can turn in your lines, that audio file, with them. Uh, and since I'm going to be editing these, go ahead and just give me some notes as to where they're going, who's saying what, when. And we can put that in. If you don't have a voiceover in it, that's absolutely fine. So now that I've got these three different beats happening, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw just three frames. I'm just, the storyboarding here, these are just simple sketches. I don't need anything massive. So I've got these three simple frames. So first, you know, I can have, you know, this, you know, silly little, barely more than a stick figure joker. He's got a big smile on his face. He's telling this joke that bombs. You know, and, and for this I kinda want him on like the set of a late night talk show. Kinda similar to what you might see from the Joker movie. And you know, you'll have all the little background people tied up. Then the second frame, you know, it's going to be, ooh, that was a really bad Batman. Beating up the Joker. This time he's got a frowny face. You know, I'm not attempting to make my drawings look good at all. I'm not taking that time. I'm just getting my ideas down on the paper. He's got this cape, so I'm going to let the cape flow. And, you know, this is not showing everything that's happening. This is just giving an idea. All right, this is what's happening in that scene. And then finally, you know, Batman. He's dragging the Joker off. Maybe by the hair. A little X is for eyes. And again, his, his cape's going to flow because he's Batman. And that is a super, super, super basic storyboard. There's not that much that has to go into it. So what I want you guys to do for this assignment is to do your own storyboard. Write down what's happening in each of the beats of this scene. You know, first this happens, then this happens, and finally this happens. Don't try to put too much into your scene. This is something that I can see happening in a very quick kind of 30 seconds. Joker gets blindsided, beat up, dragged away. Now, there would be another scene to follow this, or would it be a scene that, you know, would go before this. This is just one little snippet of this. And the fact that this is going to be animated with stop motion means you can pack a little more into that 30 seconds than might normally happen. So plan out your scene, write down these major beats, and then give me storyboards, small quick sketches for each of those. I would personally do this one on paper in case you want to make some changes. And then just take a photo of that paper and turn it in with the assignment. And that's going to be it for today.